Hi everyone. Well, I have another episode of what did I get myself into. We are planning a trip uh, for eight days driving uh, New England, Pennsylvania, Ohio. And uh, I decided it's probably time to put a dash cam in. Well, you know, <laughs> never did that before. So, of course, I looked at the reviews online, and I couldn't come up with a consensus. So I asked my friend who has a dash cam, because he's, he tows an RV, and he simply said he went and bought the least expensive one he could find. All he needed was to record an incident if it happened. He wasn't worried about quality or anything else. I thought that was a reasonable thought. Um, I needed it sooner than I could get it from uh, China, so I decided to go to Amazon, which could ship in just a couple of days. And what I did is I searched for lower-end products that had several reviews, not like three reviews. I wanted 50 or 60 or more reviews that were four stars and above. Now you got to take that with a grain of salt a little bit because of course you can stack you know reviews to your favor but you have to start someplace so I did and I bought this guy and I don't know if he's gonna come out but it seemed to be a reasonable S7, it says S7 on it. And uh, it's one of the lower end ones that has a front and rear camera. So that means installation. So we're going to uh, look at installation directions and uh, see how this works out. All right. <clears throat> High-speed dual-channel dash cam, capturing all the details you need. 2.5K. Nice looking manual. Actually reads somewhat somewhat understandably. And the last page explains how to put it in the car. So, <laughs> not a lot of detail there. Um, nice little camera. Have to make sure I take off the lens protector and the back uh, display protector. Rear, rear camera. I'm assuming this is a tool for pushing in the wire someplace. A charging cable, it looks like. Power cable plugs into what we used to call a cigarette lighter adapter, which is now an accessory power adapter. A suction foot which my friend has set and looks like an SD micro SD card reader so you can plug it into your computer my friend don't use the my friend said don't use this they keep falling off uh, I'll put it up for now I'll see if I can find some way to mount this a little more permanently. So now I have to read and start installing. Okay, so here we are. We are in the Honda and I'm going to show there's the camera, there's the 
rear view mirror. Oops. And I gotta get used to this gimbal, I guess. And I'm gonna stick it up in here, all the way along, down there. And I think I will put one cable, the power cable that way, and the rear view camera cable going the other way up here, going over to this pillar and down. Once I do that, I'll figure out how I'm going to get, um, I have to get down. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of adapters on this for power, so there's only one down here. So I'll have to get it snaked over there somehow. Um, we'll, we'll get there. Um, these trim pieces come off. I know that. They come off fairly easy. So maybe I can sneak it behind there. Um, they probably want you to, oh, there's no place, there's no place up here to do it. It doesn't look like it there. So I think we're going to end up in there or underneath someplace. Boy, it doesn't like that at all. So... That's, that's part one, is to get it from the camera down. I'm probably going to take the wires and make a loop around the rear view mirror and maybe, uh, maybe just put a, a, a slip knot in it or something just to hold them so they don't get pulled too far. Uh, so that's... That's the next step. And I have no idea how I would film in here. I, I just don't see that being reasonable. So uh, we're going to shut this off and, uh, and start pushing wires someplace. All right. Well, we've got the front camera in. That was pretty easy. It's right there in the window. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it just right there. Uh, a little bit of trouble getting the wire in to make it nice and neat. But uh, got the power wire in. Then I was going to mount the rear camera in here. But... That just didn't seem like I could get the right angle and hide the cords and stuff. So I decided to put it, and I'm going to tuck it up right up in here. Trouble is, there's no access into the trunk. And I really didn't want to make too many holes. Well, it turns out I loosened up all this stuff here, make this flexible. I, I've got enough space to get my wire into there, which gets me behind here. But again, well, let's see. There we go. Again, it didn't uh, get me into the trunk. It put me behind this piece of metal here. So I actually had to drill a hole. It's kind of out of the way. No one's going to see it. Should be pretty waterproof. And that gets me into the trunk. And then I can follow the wires down. So that's where I am right now. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Not using the gimbal, so we're going to have a little shake. It's probably about two hours after I started looking at the trunk and uh, to put the rear camera in. So I ended up 
taking and loosening this whole clip two, two press fits up here some bolts on the inside uh, put the camera up in here put some screws in it put the wire behind the license plate it went into a it went into a, a void in here but not in the trunk but then up in here see if it focus yeah I actually had one of the press-in gaskets here the the bushings so I got my wire out followed it all the way down into the trunk now I didn't hook up the wire for the backup this signals when you're backing up so that the screen um, goes only on the reverse on the backup camera but I don't care about that at least not for now I'm still picking up wire ties that I left in here. And uh, I snaked it kind of loosely around the back here, in behind the back seat. Pulled the seat down, snaked it down inside the back seat, came down in here underneath this just under the lip a little I guess it's you know that's the cheap way out I didn't lift those right up got up as far as here right up to the front dash and I'm gonna be about six feet short so I need to get myself a six foot I guess that's TRRS extension and to finish this so I think I'm done for the day, but it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to see if I've got a TRRS extension someplace. I don't think I do. Um, I can probably buy one locally for 20 bucks, or get one on eBay or one of those places for 5 I haven't decided. Oh, and actually, I may have one I can use. I think it's a 10-footer. It would be interesting to see if it works. All right, uh, so that's it for now. I think I'll bring you back when I get the final installation. I did not like snaking the power wire down past the airbag. I'm not so sure I'm gonna like snaking this other wire back up by the airbag, but we'll see. All right, folks, back to the camera. Holding it by hand, I didn't bother with the gimbal or mounting it or anything. So here's the update on my dash cam. I decided that I was not going to wait to try to get an extension for that 2.5 millimeter TRRS cable. Instead, I decided to pull the cable all the way back to the trunk and instead of going underneath the the mat and around the front pedals and up over the top I decided to snake it through the roof well that was fun there's not a lot of room in there I put a snake through there and beat it up pretty good uh, but I got it through and now I have like three feet of extra cable so the camera went in I had enough cable however one of the wires, the power wire, for the camera runs right in front of the left front airbag pillar, the front by the windshield. Not ideal, not recommended to start stuffing things around airbags. And the rear camera comes up from the trunk up through the rear pillar on the driver's side just above an airbag so you know with modern cars you've got to be really careful with the airbag stuff nonetheless it's now in it looks pretty good I haven't destroyed too much in the car and I actually took the time to go through the menu now this is the second item I looked at today uh, which 
is a few days before I'm going to publish this, that the manual was actually understandable and pretty good grammar. So I was surprised at that a little bit. But uh, I like the installation. Uh, dash cams are pretty easy. Uh, it's, it's when you try to get a camera on the rear trunk deck uh, that things get a little complicated. And I guess there are now dash cams that have a front and a rear camera built into them so it shoots through the car and just goes out the back window, takes the picture. Uh, I mounted mine, you you'll, you saw it, next to the, the uh, license plate. It's at the right level, so to speak. It's pretty well sheltered. So that's it. I, I'm, I'm happy with it. it uh, there's a lot of functions with it. It's got a decent picture for what we want. I, I don't it's there in case someone has an accident with us. So I don't need to go looking at license plates a quarter of a mile ahead of me or anything. Uh, it is what it is. So I hope you like this one. This is another, it's a how-to installation, but there's no fabrication involved. It's actually a new piece of equipment. All my other videos, I think, are items that are 50 years old or more. Um, but hopefully you'll like it. Uh, so, thanks a lot for watching. Like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, the usual. <laughs> um, and uh, you guys all have a good day and uh, maybe even a good week. All right, thanks a lot.